So I asked my amazing friends what this is, and they said that I'm drawing the map to bomb the world. So I decided to make this video before Putin sees it and said that I want to bomb Russia first. All right, so this is a network monitor. Somebody say network monitor. So if you look up here, you will see a network monitor. Now, what is a network monitor? What it does here is that it um, regulates the amount of traffic. It shows me the list of all my softwares currently open in this system. Softwares that need some um, like connectivity, right? So it shows me the connectivity and it goes down to show me the detail of even where the servers of each of those softwares are located. Should I come again? <laughs> okay, now imagine now I want to say, okay, now this is VS Code, right? If I click on VS Code, it shows me the servers. So this is one, two, three. Like these are the various servers of VS Code. I can say, okay, I want to know a particular server that Azure uses. I'll click on it. It shows me the details I need to know, the location, where it is. Now, and that is basically what a network monitor does right so i can say okay that i feel like um, i want to employ someone that will crack hack um what's the word hack which which app should i use just use an app here okay let me say i want to employ someone that will, that will hack um one note microsoft one note so if i click on this it shows me the different locations of their servers i say no the one i want to hack is live.com so i'll look for the the place it is so i have to it will show me diff like the exact spot or the exact place where the server is which is the location so my next target is to do what is to employ someone from sao paulo or to for someone from campinas to go and you know but i'm not planning to hack you microsoft so that you think that um that that's why i'm drawing this map i just want to educate my very good friends okay so this is what a network monitor is so what it does is that it shows me a list of basically all my softwares and you guess what i can approve or disapprove them so imagine and i say i want everything to, to keep running but i want to i don't want microsoft to do to keep to run at all if i click on this council now it counsels it it's it's make it's make sure that there is no connection that goes on with that microsoft world so that means that it's microsoft to do rather it cuts off every connection so every internet connectivity that microsoft to do wants to do is cut off right now and again is that as i as i transact it's you know it shows me the the amount of data the kilobytes i use up and on and also the amount of data being transmitted per time and why and how it is being transmitted okay so and even the top countries that i'm i'm transmitting um data to which is basically where my servers are hosted so this the server that i've sent more data to is the other ones in the united states so united states has more of my data um then there's germany there's united kingdom so then you can also click on the the particular server to know to know the one is to, to, to know what it is and if you, as you can see here this is chrome so i can click on the particular server to know what it is and now not just that there is what with what they call a network map here which i can i can like if you look up here you will see now this is there my download and okay, this is my download and my upload speed so um as you can see it's um okay so now if you come here now if you look down here you will see that i can see as at 36 minutes ago this was my download speed and this was my upload speed and you can you can draw the network map to show you how many minutes or to show, see the amount of data or the kilobytes you use per time right so in the in the 20 minutes frame what i used was 13 mb and what i uploaded was 3.29 mb so you can basically use this network monitor to you to monitor everything you do and if you notice every operation i get now i or i carry on in this system them comes up first let me let me show you an example so imagine i'm walking down and i decide to push a repository to the github and i send it up um so now it's going to connect with git's git server so and that means that git's visual studio code is meant to come up here which basically you are seeing it and because even webcam is as well using the internet that's why it's also top so you've seen that is one of the top priority right so now i can decide as well to to um reload this system.io and reloading it you know what happens to it is that it comes up as well google chrome comes up so basically this is just a, a an, an amazing network monitor that you need and you get yourself going okay so next time you want to employ a hacker or you want to employ someone that will hack your websites you can use this monitor to know the location